Now, what we want to look at next is the scenario manager. So in terms of order quantity, ordering in 10 at a time, but is that a best? Is that, could we order in maybe eight at a time or 12 at a time? You know, which one's better? Which one's going to lower our overall average costs? And then remember the reorder point and that triggers a, another order to come in and that's five, but you know, maybe a higher number, maybe uh, bringing in more when it uh, hits eight or something like that. So again, we can put together certain scenarios. Now the number of scenarios that is suggested, okay, let's take a look and this, this is from your textbook. Okay, so again, they're looking for uh, at four values right here. So, uh, and remember, Q is how many we're ordering in every time we need to order some in. So 8, 10, 12, and 14. And the trigger, the sort of reorder point is 5 and 8. All right, so that's eight uh, multiple scenarios. So let's build that. Okay, so make sure your formulas are automatic as well. All right, because you don't want to have them locked up. So let's take a look here. We're going to Scenario Manager. Go into What If Analysis. Okay, Scenario Manager. We'll just add in a scenario. Okay, so a scenario name, and let's just call this a Q8, right? So bringing in eight and reordering a five to try that out. And the changing cells, let's get the changing cells to be these two here. All right, press OK. And again, it's 10 and 5, but we want that to be uh, 8 and 5. And press OK for that one. OK, next one, we'll do 8 and 8. So we'll add in a scenario. And we'll call this Q8, right? So we're bringing in 8 at a time. And when our stock gets to 8 or lower, we reorder, and that's R8. OK, and the changing cells don't change, which is good. It's the same ones. All right, so this will be 8 and 8. Okay, so 8 and 8. Next one we'll do 10 and 5. So quantity is uh, 10 and R is 5. Right? That's the original, right? So 10 and 5. That's all set up. Next one we'll do is 10 and 8. So Q is 10 and R is 8. All right, and then we got the 10 there. We just switch that over to 8. Okay, so now we're going to start bringing in more, right? So before we're bringing in uh, 10 or fewer. So now we're going to do Q is 12. So we're bringing in more every time. And we'll start with the same reorder point of 5. Right? So it's 12 and 5. So 12 and 5. And then next one is 12 and 8. So Q12, R8. Press OK for that one there. Okay, so 12 and 8. Okay, the last two will be 14 and 5. All right, so be Q14. So we're bringing in a lot more now. Q14, R, and 5. And that will be 14 and 5. And then lastly, 14 and 8. So Q of 14 and R of 8. All right, so that's all of them. So we'll go into summary right here and just make sure that we're grabbing the right cells. So the result cells, what we want to focus on is right here, all right? In particular, the total cost. That's the one we care the most about. But it's also good to see how the various other costs change. Okay, so we'll press OK. This may take a while. Again, you probably want to make sure your computer's plugged in <laughs> just because your, your chip is really going to work hard. Your processing chip is going to work hard. All right, so that's what we have here. And again, just to go back to what we were talking about before is we've got the order quantity of 10 and the reorder point of 5. And what we're playing around with is, is that uh, the best that's going to, on average, lower our average total cost? Okay, and again, remember this average total cost is based on an average of, of the 200 replications. So if I go into an empty cell and press delete, it shouldn't change too drastically. 223, right? 223 again, 225, 223.99, 223.99, 223.99, 223.99, 223.99, 223.99, 223.99, 223.99, 223.99, 223.99, 223.99, 223.99, 223.99, 223.99, 223.99, 223.99, 223.99, 223.
224, 221. So it shouldn't change too drastically um, from within the same, having the same reorder point and uh, order quantity. Okay, but we want to, we're taking a look as 10 and 5 the best. Right? Is it going to give us a sort of average lower cost? Let's take a look at our summary. Okay, so this is the 10 and 5. And I also did 10 and 5, um, and that's the current values in one of the scenarios. And notice that there is a bit of variability right, between the average of each 200, so 221.84 and 225.32. So there is some variability. But notice that 8 and 5 is quite a bit larger, right? 262.39. Okay, 8 and 8. Okay, again, uh, uh, notice what's going up. And that is, again, R of 8 means as soon as your inventory goes to 8 or below, you're ordering more. So your, your ordering costs go up. But notice what goes down right here. Um, and this is your stock out costs go down compared to before. The reason why is because it's being triggered at a higher point. All right. So, and, and that means that uh, on average, your uh, inventory costs will go up because you're holding more, as you can see. But that's a small price to pay because difference between 5088 for stock out and 115 is is quite uh, dramatic and again that's this is seen as a good thing if it's lowered because remember stock out cost is the estimation of a cost of somebody wanting a, in this case a drill and you don't have it because you're sold out and people sort of leaving in a huff all right so let's look at 10 and 8 did that help at all well this is better than um, 10 and 5 in both cases right 225 200 that's the 10 and 5 and 10 and 8 uh, seems to be a lot better, right? It's, it's lowered it below 200. Okay, and also um, ordering in 12 at a time. Okay, this seems to be doing a pretty good job. It's under 200. Okay, but take a look at ordering 12 at a time. And uh, when, when your inventory goes to 8 or below, that seems even better. All right, but the best of all is uh, 14 and 8. Now 14 you're ordering in a lot at a time but notice that um, one of the things that goes down is uh, when you're ordering 14 at a time is your order costs go down compared to before. So these are some of the lower ones and why is that? Uh, because you don't order as often because you're ordering in more at a time and yes your holding costs will go up but your holding costs are very small and Notice this, that's the lowest, right? You're ordering in 14 at a time, and a reorder point is triggered when you get eight or, or lower in terms of your inventory. And notice in terms of how low the stock out cost is. And the reason why is if you're, you're ordering, when, when, you get, um, when you get low, you're, you're ordering, okay? And you're ordering quite a bit. So there's just less chance of somebody leaving in a half not getting a drill, which sort of is accounting for for the stock out cost. Okay, so that's what I want to look at uh, for this one here. So just in terms of summary, just remember when you're working on the inventory problem, there's two areas of randomness, and that is the demand. So how much are people going to order on any given day? And then when you do um, order in from your supplier, when you're ordering in from your supplier, how long is it going to take for them to sort of ship it to you? And again, that's another sort of random element. And, and of course, um, in terms of the... Uh, uh, probability distribution we've learned of a few so you should be able to take and adjust for any probability distribution and as well column i that is where the memory is so that you don't keep ordering lots every day it basically takes into account that there is some coming so you even though you're low um, you do have some coming in so you don't need to order uh, more today so that's where the memory is uh, of that okay and again we use the data table to uh, generate 200 observations. And one of the reasons why we want to generate 200 observations is that this will be fairly stable because you're doing an average of 200 and 200 uh, simulations. Okay, and then we looked at the different scenarios and we said, okay, you're currently ordering in 10 uh, at a time every time you order. And what triggers an order is when inventory is five or below. But can we do better? Can we on average, okay, get that cost lower? So even though 14 and eight, is is better than here it's only better on average right so sometimes you'll do okay then compared to the other methods sometimes you'll do worse sometimes you'll do about the same okay but what we're saying on average <laughs> if if you do this let's say 200 times 
you should come out ahead. But on any given day, no guarantee of that. Okay, so that's what we're looking at for this one. Thank you very much.